What's up guys, so today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and first impressions video of the Lynx Motion Quadrino flight controller. So I want to say thanks to the people over at Robot Shop who sent this out to me to review and to test on one of my builds. So once again I want to say thanks to them for sending this out to me and yeah without further ado let's get into this unboxing. Right away, you should notice that this is coming in a kind of different packaging from normal flight controllers. This is coming in a hard plastic carrying case um, with a clip in the front so it's secure. Um, I don't know if it's like watertight or anything, but like it's definitely the higher end packaging compared to a normal flight controller. Given this is a lot more expensive than a normal flight controller where you can get a pretty decent one for around 30, 40 bucks, mm. depending on how much you're spending but this is going to run you $149.99 over at Robot Shop, but it may have some reasoning behind why it's so expensive. So without further ado, let's pop this open and take a look inside. So right on top, we're met with two pieces of paper. We have a Lynx Motion sticker. God, I love the stickers. Just move this over to the side. And a uh, quadrino that shows all the different outputs and inputs and the wiring on the back for the different servos and whatnot. But inside the box further we get a micro USB cable that will, I would assume would be used to connect to the computer and configure and this actually uses the multi Wii software but it does use its own proprietary software from um, robot shop to configure this controller specifically but it does run on the multi Wii uh, flight controller software so further into the box we get the flight controller itself so just taking a quick look we see the front and the back here and then a bunch of different ports along the sides but I'll get to that in a little bit we have a 3M pad so this will stick on the back of the flight controller and then the other end will go right onto the drone and then it'll be nice and sturdy and hopefully won't fly off in the middle of the air because you can't really fly without a flight controller. Anyway, we get a nice little package of hardware. It's got some screws, nuts, bolts and whatnot, Allen keys it looks like. So that's stuff to probably take this apart and to secure it. So I'll throw that to the side. We have our GPS antenna. So this is actually a GPS enabled flight controller that has a GPS module in here with the external antenna so you get some better signal with that. So I'll get to this in a little bit also. And then just taking the last piece out of the foam packaging that everything is secured in. Okay, so that's it for inside the box. But the last thing is a bunch of connectors so, say I want to connect my servos or whatever, just make sure you take the right connector, pop it on the right pin, and then connect the other end to where it needs to go. And it's really nice that it comes with all these different connectors, and also has the connectors for the side over here, I believe. It looks like it's the right size. Yep, so that, these are the side connectors. So basically every connector that you need is all included in here, so that's very nice. But, going further into the flight controller right away, We'll see our GPS antenna, which will go right underneath this yellow hook, I would assume. So how this would work is you take your uh, connector and kind of twist it on like a coaxial cable. And then say you have this mounted on one layer of uh, your quad and then you want to you know, put it on top so it gets the best signal and can catch the most satellites, get the most uh, reliable uh, location. But it's very nice that it comes with the external uh, GPS antenna and has the right connector that it's literally just screw on and play and you're good to go. I'm going to move that off to the side. And if you go on to Robot Shop, you actually see that this uh, flight controller has so many different inputs. Like it's actually crazy how much stuff is in this little tiny. I believe the size is 53 millimeters by 53 millimeters. So very, very small form factor. It's a little big for a flight controller, but for everything that's included in here, I'm sure you can make room. So, ah, it balanced. So the integrated sensors included in here are a gyroscope, 
an accelerometer, a magnometer, and a barometer. So the barometer will tell air pressure, which will usually give you the altitude. Magnometers for like a compass, it'll tell you which direction you're heading. Accelerometer and gyroscope will tell you your level and your pitch and your roll and all that. We see built-in GPS with our external antenna, so it's right here. We have a semi-transparent case, so that's the reason that they made it transparent instead of just see-through, is so you can see the different LEDs giving you different indications of what's going on. And we see we have many, many expansion ports. So we have UART, 12C, and GPIO. So just the amount that you can do with this is absolutely insane. So one thing that this also has is a output for OSD. So and it's called the NEMA serial output. So if you want to connect this and then you want to have all that data that this thing is able to process sent to you, you get an OSD that is compatible with that serial input. And then all your data, your GPS, your barometer, your height, everything, speed, anything you want, because this basically records everything that I've ever needed to know when I'm flying, all can get sent to your OSD, and that's absolutely great. So this has eight speed controller outputs, so you can have eight different channels. So it's got eight in and eight out. So eight channel inputs for your radio, so I believe that this supports SBUS, Spectrum, and um, like PPM and all that, it supports basically every different radio. Yep, I see UART right here. I'm looking at the schematic over here on my computer while I'm doing this because it's just so complicated and there's so much going on in here. So if we look right here, we see UART 1 where it's compatible with Spectrum slash SBUS, radio connector UART port, the GPS module, which is right in the center. We see our 12 uh, C 5 volt port servo connectors. There's just so much going on in this flight controller. It's absolutely crazy how much uh, technology they packed into a small 53 millimeter squared. And I'm sure it's smaller than that because it's not a square, it's round. So I'm sure it's less than that. And, um, it's just really, it's crazy how much they packed into here. Like I'm actually stunned how much technology they can pack into such a tiny, tiny little package. So. That's basically it for the unboxing, and as you can tell from the way I'm talking about it, I'm, I'm kind of shocked about how much is in here. Yeah, the price point is a little high, and the only way to really test how how much it's worth for that cost is to put it on a bill and throw it in the sky. So hopefully in the next month or so, I'll be able to b make another spare build using the parts and stuff that I have, or maybe just throw it on a quad that I already have built and take it up to the sky and let you know how all the different functions and stuff work on it. But, I mean, I have very high hopes for it. it, it it's just so cool, there's so much stuff in here and I really, I can't wait to get this to the sky. So, once again, I want to say thanks again to Robot Shop for sending this out to me for review. This has been my first looks and unboxing of the Lynx Motion Quadrino Flight Controller and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.